Hello my friends and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated community Minecraft server. I'm over here at my crow's nest watching the moon go down, which is kind of interesting from way up here. <laughs> the, uh, the edge of the world, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, just watching the moon go down and getting ready for today's little uh, exploits. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly through here and see if I can't freak out these creepers. Let's see here. Hello creepers. Ooh, freaked out. Oh, oh, my rockets won't rocket! Oh, jeez. Okay, there they go. A little bit of lag. Oh, boy, where are those creepers? There's one there. Oh, there go my rockets. Oh, boy. Jiminy Christmas, that was a lot of lag. All right, so we're over here at the ship, and I have made some decisions. I've been contemplating and trying to figure things out, and I, have, I think I have come up with a solution that's going to work for me here. Ooh. Oh no. Come on, lag. I don't want to be facing anything if it happens, you know? Oh boy. Hmm. Woof! Woof! Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna just get to my ship. Just gonna get to my ship. And uh, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do today. Okay, so let me just get off of that just in case. Alright. Alright, so today. I have decided what I'm going to do with some other parts of the ship. I'm going to go get some more spruce and I'm going to fill this in. Right? Uh, except for this little little bit here now because I don't even come over here and look. But uh, I need to close it in, so I'm going to close it in. And while I'm doing that, over here I've decided on two key aspects. Alright? So up here, this is going to be... We kind of talked about it before, but this is going to be kind of the captain's section and over here is going to be a guest's section so I I think I'm gonna just bring uh, the line from here straight down the middle uh, to a certain point here maybe and then uh, kinda give them maybe right here right and just kinda give them not, not a square room but a somewhat rounded edge room so that there's some path to walk along here around the outside alright so that's one project I'm gonna work on and then the other one is Figuring out where that stuff's going to. I'm, I didn't know that... Can Endermen take half slabs? I Maybe. Alright, uh, we're going to keep getting these guys filled up. Oh, that lag is still for real. And we're going to turn this section... Wait a minute, is this a section? No, because that's going to be butchery slaughtery. Okay. We're going to turn this section down here. Up there will be like a, a, a kitchen's galley and stuff like that. And we're going to turn this section into both like a, a, a prison hold. What's it called? The brig on a ship. We're going to turn this into a brig. And we're going to turn it into an area for storing all the gold and silver and emerald and diamonds that were uh, our precious goods that we're transporting on our ship. So we have some more ideas about things we're going to do on the ship, right? So in order for me to do that, I need to go get some supplies. I'm going to double check all my supplies and we're going to get to work. Uh, I think we're going to start in here. We'll start in here and I'll try to get some shape in here and then we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Hopefully my lag will be a little bit better so uh, I will know for sure that I'll be placing blocks, etc. while I'm discussing what's going on with you. All right, so I'll be right back and I'll, I'll show you where I'm at. Welcome back, my friends. As you can see, I am wrapping up that long-term project <laughs> of getting the ship filled in. I'm going to put a torch here just in case. I think it was getting light from somewhere else. Oh, no. Am I out of blocks already? I got a couple more left. Yeah, I sure do. All right. So let's see here. This is almost done. One less thing to worry about. I've still got this little hole here, but that's okay. Let's go back here and take a look at it. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, man. Well, I think it looks all right. Uh, now that it's closed in, it's really starting to fill in. That's going to... I'm going to have to close that as soon. That being my primary walk-in and walk-out was kind of silly. I knew I was going to be docking down there. I should have made this dock all the way down there. Oh, that would have been a long one out, though. <laughs> all right. First things first. Let me go ahead and take care of this problem. Freaking... Endermen's always moving my stuff. Can Endermen take half slabs? I guess they can. All right, so I've also been working in the other room diligently, and it uh, might not look like too much, but I have been 
thinking about things and planning things out and thinking about corridors and hallways and such. Also, I've been filling these guys come periodically coming over here and doing their thing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the outside hallways I decided to go with. So instead of having it closed off and making this whole thing like this side the captain's side and that side the guest side, I decided to make this the hallway that goes around the edge, you know, more like a like a cruise ship might. Um, why? Oh, because that's half slab. Okay, and then that would have been a full... Oh, okay, so that could have stayed that way. Eh, maybe I will. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. We'll see what happens there. Actually, I'm going to get a, a stone slab and do that. All right, so it comes around here. This will be closed off, and standing here will be a grandfather clock. <laughs> Thank you, Tons, for showing me that little trick. So I'm going to have a grandfather clock standing there. There will be doors out here somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. Perhaps there. But uh, back around here. Oh, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't see that on the out clip, he centered this dude. That's hilarious. Robert Plant. Captain Robert Plant to you. Captain, 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 Captain. All right. So this, if I didn't make it clear, is going to be like a little... I'm going to put four wide pictures on either side of these. So those are hidden passageways. And don't tell anybody. So that people coming and going will think that this is just a way up to here or a way down to here, right? Or down even further. So they won't know the super secret sneaky way of getting into either the captain's room or the guest's room. And again, I don't know where I'm going to put the door yet, so that's why it's like that. But I did make it symmetrical for a reason, alright? So there's going to be a couple things going on in this room. First things first... Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. First things first is this center section is going to have a quote-unquote window in it that's really going to be a mirror, right? So you're going to be able to see some things from it and some things not from it. So over here, hidden in this corner, we're going to put some dissimilarities, right? Like with dressers and uh, maybe something up on the wall. But then back over here where we're going to have like a, a little table or a desk or beds or whatever. You're going to be able to see the same thing on the other side, so it'll look like a mirrored image. At least that's my hope. And then over here, we'll have some dissimilarities because you won't be able to see all of the mirrored image stuff. And it'll depend on how much I build out and around, but we'll, you know, we'll go from there. Over here will also be paintings, so those need to be hidden away so that you won't be able to see them like through the mirror, right? So maybe these three blocks, let me go ahead and torch those up, right? So maybe this one and this one. Let's see here. If that's a mirror, would I be able to see? And maybe this one? Yeah, maybe those three. We'll see, right? So we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But from here, you wouldn't be able to see like the block that's gonna be here, right? Or here. So over here we'll have dissimilarities. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, in here, this will be a wall. This whole thing will be blocked off, right? Uh, I don't have any wood for me. Let me put a couple in real fast. All right, so this whole wall will be blocked off just as this side's going to be blocked off. But I'm leaving it open now so I can walk in and out. All right, so this is the clock circuit. Uh, Tons, thank you very much. Uh, as you can see, uh, repeaters set to four ticks, so four eight, nine seconds plus uh, a redstone torch and uh, that trap door then becomes a, a ticking clock, right? So that's going to be going on and over here we'll probably put like a, like I said, a grandfather clock outside there and maybe I'll put a grandfather clock outside over here also, right? It'll be clicking close enough that you'll be able to hear it. So I think that's pretty cool and these blocks can go in because this is going to be the wall. So, what do you think? I like it. For now, we're going to keep it off, though. <laughs> and we're going to leave this all lit up. Alright, so let me go ahead and get building some more of the cabin. Welcome back, my friends. I'm over here gathering up some wool from the sheep to get ready to make a bed, of all things. Uh, I'm going to go with... Oh, come on. I'm going to go with a purple color. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> my fence climbing skills are lacking today, so I had to go all the way over there. Yeah, I'm going to use uh, um, purple, I think, because I've been looking for a reason to use this deep purple. I like this deep purple color. I think that's enough blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It should be. Yeah, it should be. Uh, if not, that should be. <laughs> All right, so now let's go get uh, some snow. Do I have any shovels? Oh, boy, let me go and make a shovel real fast. Oh, come on. My rockets are not going to work with me. What is that? What is that? Why is there a block up there in the middle of nowhere that better be... Oh, you know what? <laughs> that's that's uh that's one of my cross beams for my sale. All right, all right. I'm gonna. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of bad. I, I'm gonna switch off of this and hope that I don't go rocketing into the wall inside. I'm gonna get a shovel and I'm gonna go get some snow and then uh, I'll pick you back up with that. Well, my rockets still aren't working, but at least I can go and move and go to certain blocks and get things done. I'm still able to pick things up and put things down, so that's a good sign. <laughs> I'll still be able to build here in a moment. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, let me get... Just go ahead and do an even stack here, right? Well, I never was able to get my wings to deploy, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. I'll just cut it cut it all out anyways here is what I have done I've changed this wall to spruce and I am going to put spruce wood there I believe in places like this right up to the top and then that way it'll have the nice clean look and I won't have to worry about lighting as much around the outside here so those things will come out and we'll get a good look at what those look like also uh, too much of the oak along this wall so I needed something to break it up and it, it was not going to be dark oak right I guess it could have been hmm maybe but uh, it's, it's oh, what I've got what I've got spruces in okay so around the corner here up to the front up to the bow before the ship we've got a grandfather clock and do I have a redstone torch on me I do not uh, we'll deal with that in a moment but there's one clock it keeps time for realsies and then around the other side here we have the other room which I don't think I'm actually going to have the doors here I'll probably end up having the doors off to the side over here or the, the uh, fence gates and we'll go with that alright but so far this placeholder is here and I've got this grandfather clock here very much like the other one over there and I've got this dresser right uh, this is something I've seen Grian do before, is put to, together, like, these uh, signs together with uh, these anvils, and they make, like, drawer handles, and uh, these picture frames, you know, you put the picture frames in to put the anvil in, and then you put the sign on top. So this is a cool little technique, and I, I've always kind of liked it, so I wanted to use it, and bam, there it is, there's my opportunity to use it. Then there's this clock here. Uh, I'm thinking about where I'm going to put a bed actually, right? And let me show you the other side. We're still from this windowed area. We're still all the stuff we see is kind of hidden. So we also have a dresser here, but this time the shelf on the top is open, right? <laughs> so it kind of sells the point that it's a dresser, right? And these things kind of have to go along this this wall because as you can see back there behind there is different uh, backgrounds, right? So in order for it to work, it kind of has to be here. So that's where it is. I, it could have also been against this wall, which is sharing something off the back. So these, and I need a little gold block, which I'm going to work on. Uh, in the meantime, uh, <laughs> let's put let's put a bit of snow. Boink. You know, in the meantime, and we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Uh, also, what was I going to do? Was I going to put the? I was thinking maybe the bed along here. Man, if I make it three, four, I think it's going to be a four with a, yeah, I think it's going to be four and two. And if it's four and two, one, two, three, four, I think this is where the bed should go. So the door will probably go back this way a little bit more. And we'll leave that there for now, but we're going to do this. Actually, where's that? There it is. Let me get uh, some of these. Six isn't going to be enough. Let's do 12. All right. Bam. And 
I have some sticks there. Good sign because I'm going to need some. These to make signs. And those. And bam. Bam. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see what it looks. Uh, let's try a 4x2. And let's... Uh, where'd they go? There they are. Let's put these in. Boom. Boom. Whoops. Don't want any letters on them. Bam. 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 Now this... Let's see, it's a purple bed. I like purple beds. Why not? You know, it, it kind of purple kind of works with, with wood. You know, especially the darker colors. Would it have worked better with dark oak? Probably. You know, taking a look at that. Probably. But I like it just the way it is for now. Cool. Well, not just the way it is because we need a little piece de resistance, right? And that's going to be uh, the two pillows. Oh, these these lights need to go. <laughs> Which is an, a problem for another reason. So now I need lighting. One, two, three, four. Let's put this here. Okay, that should be just far enough away. And that one is just far enough away. And this one is just far enough away. That should work. Okay. One bed down. If I wanted to make them bigger pillows, I could make, like, bigger pillows. I guess. Mm, I kind of like the one high. You know, we'll take a look. We'll take a look on the other side. Alright, so this is the part now that needs to kind of start looking mirrored because it's going to be visible from everywhere. So, again, we're going to put down... Oh, I could have swore I had eight. One, two, three. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We might have... We might have one... Purple? Maybe Maybe two? There should be two purple sheep, but again, we've been having the mysterious sheep disappearance. Come on. Well, if nothing else, I'm pretty sure I have something stored. Well, there is a sheep, and yep. There we go. I needed two of those. Excellent. I'll take them. Back to the cabin. Okay. Well, last time we'll be able to use that door for a while. And... These guys. First, the ones that are visible. <laughs> Alright, and I'll put this one over here. And I gotta make a couple more, but let's go ahead and see how it looks first. This guy has to go. This guy has to move to here. That one should be good. Okay. Bam, bam. Look at that. Just, I mean, so far so good. Alright, did I get him in the right spot? Looks like it. Okay, next step. Hmm. I can still put the door over there, so nothing could go there, but I could put a little desk right there, for example. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can do that real fast. This is for show. I think I'd change the wood, probably. Alright, so if we were to do that, it would be this one and that one. And... Oh, well, that kind of has a nice little look like that. But I could, you know, kind of has that Ikea look, I suppose. But let's do it like this. Why did that set up like that? There. <laughs> okay. So if that's like that, and then they would have... Man, that would be a tight way to walk in, but ships are tight. Right? And then there'd be this. Or, no, the desk could go along here. So it could be like a three-wide desk. Right? One, two. And do I have any of these? I do. <laughs> Alright, so that one and that one. Let's go over here and take a look. And do this on the same, on the same. And these guys. Alright, so that one there, and this one here. And this uh, can move for now. I'll, I'll, I'll get you when I get you. And let's put these in just to kind of get a feel for if it's looking the way we think it should. Oh, okay, so there's... Look at that. This looks... Oh, oh. I like it. I like it so far. I really do. So, 
it kind of it looks like it's just a mirror next to your next to your desk, right? Uh, so maybe the door can go in over here. And we can put a chair over here or a chest in either side. I don't know. Some other little things. I think I'm gonna do some other little things, right? And change this up a little bit, clean it up a bit, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back, my friends, and I have completed the little accoutrements for everything, so it's gonna look really nice, I think. Now, the only thing left to do is try to remember, is it this one? Where I need to put the torch, and I'm pretty sure it's right there. Can I reach it from here? Yep. All right, cheers, off it goes. Now let's go take a look at everything in all its glory. First we have this grandfather clock. Right on. Let's go over here to the uh, guest cabin. It's all quiet now, but you come in here, you hear this one. All right, so you can hear it better over here. But I think it gets the point across, midday, the dresser. We added some, get out of here, unnecessary light source. We added some uh, torches to the walls, right? That's picture frame with the half slab, stone slab. We made a uh, little, a small little uh, nightstand that hosts a bookshelf, right? And we've got the desk with the potted plant, the shelf. There's the bench next to it, there's the foot locker. Shelving units. There's another painting over there. There's a furnace over here with a little hot plate on it. That's just like a little belly stove. Shouldn't get too much heat. Don't worry about the, the wood, right? And on the other side, as you can see, we have the same thing, right? Looking pretty cool, right? Even this picture over here, if you look, it's the same picture. Eh, you know, <laughs> it's not an exact reverse, but it's reverse enough. You can see the furnace over there. I think that's pretty cool. The painting is the same. Right on. I was going to go with the creeper one, but I think this one actually kind of looks more symmetric, so it worked all right. So I think everything looks out. I think it worked out. You can get in through here and out this way. There's signs now over the... Whoops, excuse me. Sometimes my wings deploy, right? There's signs over everything. There's some extra signs to kind of pretty this little section up a little bit. And then through here, hello, another secret little entrance over to here. And again, the clock. And I believe the last thing we need to do is give this thing a proper, proper thing. There we go. Bam. That's it. Clock's done. Bedroom's done. Mirror is done. Oh, I think it turned out all right. I think it turned out all right. And if you think it turned out all right, why don't you give me a thumbs up? What do you say about that? because <laughs> that's about all the time I have for today, my friends. I sure do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then by all means, please do consider subscribing for more coming real soon. Until next time, however, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye!